Haven man claims he was roughed up by police for no reason. Tonight, police say they have video that proves he's lying. The New Haven officers involved in that incident were officially cleared by the department today, and tonight the department showed us why. Hi, everybody. Glad you're here. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. New Haven police say they can prove everything was done by the book. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in News 8 Control with a story tonight. Josh? Ann and Darren, the incident stems from an attempted alcohol purchase gone wrong. Police say that staff at a local liquor store refused to sell to the accused when he tried to buy booze for someone who didn't have an ID. Now that night ended in arrest and with allegations of police brutality. In turn, police launched an investigation and tonight tell me the officers involved did nothing wrong. They put me in handcuffs. Literally about three seconds later, I'm on the ground with all three of those people, the officers on my back. Then I'm just getting, I feel a hand on my head banging on me and then I'm getting maced. News 8 met 28-year-old Jeffrey Agnew of New Haven outside the police station on May 1st, shortly after he'd been released on bond. He was arrested for allegedly acting violently towards police the night before, but at a protest held in his honor, Agnew told us a different story, claiming he was the one that had been abused. He told us that officers had beaten him over the head until he lost consciousness. I'm being hit, I guess, with a billy club in my arm and in my head. Authorities say that's not what happened. If we do wrong, we tell the truth. If we do right, we tell the truth. Here, the pictures, the video, and the audio speak for themselves. And tonight, police say they have several videos to prove officers acted appropriately. Here are a couple of them. Agnew can be seen in red, apparently yelling at people inside and outside. The beverage boss liquor store on Whaley Avenue. And then he started screaming, yelling uh, throughout the store for about 10, 15 minutes. 23 year old Arpit Dave is a clerk who says he was working inside that night. He was resisting for sure when they were trying to handcuff him. This video shows the arrest itself. There's no audio, but you can see police moving Agnew away from the store and then later bringing him to the ground. There is a portion of the video that's missing, approximately 15 seconds to be exact. Arpit says that's because the cameras that captured Agnew's arrest are motion sensitive. We didn't trim or anything like that. The, the cameras are motion activated. Uh, they sometimes just record the major actions taken. Sometimes they skip the video. Were you scared? I was threatened, yes. Anthony Doria was the security guard working that night. He says even though there's what some may think is a missing piece to the puzzle, he insists he witnessed police acting professionally. So when he was on the ground supposedly unconscious, I made a comment to one of my friends. I said, oh, he's quiet now. And that's when he started screaming, oh, I'm going to come back here and effing get you. Police charged Agnew with disorderly conduct and interfering with police. They also say he's been arrested eight times since 2009. Now, we did some digging of our own into his past and found he was scheduled to be in court today on a sexual assault charge in an unrelated case. We were unable to reach Agnew tonight for comment. For now, we're live in News 8 Control, Josh Shanglum, News 8.